Welcome, doers. In this tutorial, we will explore another interesting concept in project management, the milestones. When handling larger projects, it's easy to get overwhelmed by the number of different tasks and lose track of the bigger picture. That's where tracking the project's milestones comes in. Milestones are a great way to measure your project's progress, but they can also be more than that. You can use them as an invoicing method as well. Imagine in a construction company or in a business such as our wedding planning studio, you can agree to build a client after a certain milestone has been accomplished, maybe laying the foundations of a building or confirming the booking of a wedding venue. This allows for the maintenance of a cash flow for the further funding of the project. Let's go ahead and check out together how this works in Odoo. All right, so let's go ahead and head into our project configuration and settings, and we will enable milestones right here. And once this is done, we will go back into our project dashboard. And something to keep in mind is that milestones are project specific. So let's go ahead and create two milestones for this wedding that we're planning right here for Mr. and Mrs. Spindler. So we'll click on the vertical ellipsis and select milestones. So our first big accomplishment of this project is actually booking the venue. So let's create that. We could also select a deadline if we wanted to, but for now we'll keep it like this. And then um, the second milestone will be handling the rehearsal dinner, after which we'll still have time, some time to reflect and adjust anything that we can improve before the big day. So let's add another milestone, rehearsal dinner. Perfect. So now that this is done, we're going to go ahead and link some tasks to our new milestones. So let's go into project, open the Kanban view, and for the venue booking, we have three tasks that absolutely need to be completed in order for the milestone to be reached. So it's the venue shortlist. I will open the task as a, and as you can see, I have the new uh, milestone field right here and I can select my booking the venue milestone. And I will do the same for the other two tasks. So the venue visits right here, I will add the milestone as well. And the last one is the venue selection. Again, I will link it to the milestone. Perfect. Now that it's done for all of those tasks, we can say that we've actually handled all of them and we can now mark them as done. So we will just do it really quickly directly from the Kanban view. So we'll say done, done for the venue shortlist and done for the venue visits as well. Perfect. So now the three tasks that are linked to this milestone have been accomplished and we can use our handy top bar at the, uh, to access the project dashboard and see our milestone stat status. Perfect. So now we can see that the booking the venue milestone right here is uh, green now, which means that it's ready to be marked as reached. Let's go ahead and do that. Easy as that. And now we could repeat the same steps in order to mark our second milestone, the rehearsal dinner, as done. Or we can simply just say that we've reached it without having the tasks linked to it, like so. That's great, Susanna. But you also mentioned that we could invoice customer by milestone. Uh, can you tell us more? Yes, of course. So in order to do that, let's just hop on over to the sales application. And we will go into our products and products again in order to create a new service product. So let's hit new. I will call this product a wedding planning. And I will uh, call, I will just say by milestones in the title just for myself so I don't get lost. And then I will, of course, set the product type to service. And then in order to make things easier, let's also say that we want a project to be automatically created once we make a sale. So let's see project. And uh, we will even use one of our existing projects as a template in order to save time on creating tasks. I do have one project that I keep aside just for this purpose, so called uh, wedding project template. And for invoicing policy, of course, we will hit uh, based on milestones. And let's not forget the price. We will say 1000 per unit and save our new product. And then next up, Let's go and um, select our orders and quotations in order to create a new sales order. So let's choose our customers. Let's go for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Lovebird right here. Add a product. Uh, so we have our wedding, wedding planning by milestones. We will just go with one for quantity here and we will hit confirm. 
And as soon as we've confirmed the quotation, it turns into a sales order. And we have two smart buttons created right here in the um, top right corner. So we have one to access our project. And then we also have one um, new smart button that allows us to access our milestones directly. So by default, we have one milestone always created. Um, but what I can do is I can rename it. So I could say that for this project, just as with the previous one, I will actually want to have two uh, milestones. I want to split my work into two milestones. And I will want to say that uh, we have um, the wedding, the venue booking, just same as in our previous case when we were not invoicing the client by milestone. And then we also have uh, the rehearsal dinner. And I can say that each of those milestones composes 50% of what I um, have agreed with the customers, uh, the price of my services. And now that this is done, I can mark those uh, milestones as uh, reached. And again, I can also go ahead and link tasks to it, uh, to a certain milestones like I did in the previous case. But here I will just go ahead and say that I have already reached the venue booking milestone. Perfect. And once this is done, if I now go back into my sales order, I will see that my sales order line has changed. So you see here that my quantity is always one, but in delivered, I already delivered uh, 0 0.5. So the one milestone that I have split my work into. And if I wish to do it, I can now create the invoice, regular invoice, and I can create a draft. And we see that um, I can now um, invoice my customers to 500 euros, which is half of the initial price. I can confirm. And then my customers will pay me the 500 and I can continue funding of the project so I can continue to um, invest in whatever I need while I go ahead and work on my second milestone of this lengthy project. So that's it for um, uh, creating milestones and also invoicing your customers by milestones. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to, to leave them in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in our next tutorial.